Hey everyone, Justin from Core Performance here, and we've got a video today uh, that answers a question that a lot of our military customers, I shouldn't say a lot, but like mostly our military customers have been asking us, you know, what is the quietest way to carry water? And how loud is an ice plate with water in it compared to say something like a Nalgene or insulated uh, dual layer thermal bottle, legacy Camelback, uh, soft bladder. You know, how do all these things compare? How loud are they? And so we thought that, you know, since enough people had asked this question, and it is kind of important for our professional users, uh, especially uh, those that are operating, you know, in more austere environments, uh, or uh, especially at night, because uh, we all know that sound carries a lot more at night, we wanted to put this video together, which is what is the quietest way to carry your water? So we're gonna answer that question right now. Okay, so let's talk about the experimental design real quick before we get started. Uh, we are going to simulate, not exactly duplicate, but simulate a plate carrier environment. Um, and the way that we're going to do that is we're gonna carry our ice plate curve, our Nalgene, and our uh, thermal bottle all on the back of an IMS Sport. Okay, so the IMS Sport is a backpack and it's a hydration pack and we're going to wear it on our back as if we were carrying our hydration system on our back in a plate carrier-like manner. And in order to keep things consistent, we're gonna take a page out of the suppressor playbook and we're going to use our uh, VL6708 decibel meter and we're gonna hold it right next to my ear while I'm quiet and walking. Um, and that is going to basically try to pick up the sound. I'm gonna hold it in the same exact place every single time, exactly like this, uh, so that we can basically simulate the decibel meter being my ear. Um, we're gonna do that for all four of these carriage mechanisms, and then we're gonna compare the results. So that wraps up our testing portion, trying to answer the question, what is the quietest way to carry your water? Now, it's important to remember that if you freeze any of these containers, starting with a frozen ice plate, that's absolutely going to be the quietest way to carry your water. But even if you can't freeze it, all of these methods are relatively quiet, none of them exceeding 60 decibels. Yes, ice plate is the quietest in all but one scenario, but 60 decibels and under is just not that loud. And in fact, the footsteps that you heard in the video are basically as loud or louder than the water sloshing around in a half full container in almost any scenario. Another important thing to remember is that when you introduce or you put any of these containers inside of some piece of kit, 
uh, plate carrier, external sleeve, hydration sleeve, uh, pack, whatever, it's going to introduce a physical barrier between you, uh, your ear, and that hydration container that has, you know, the water in it that's half full or maybe full. So the sound is going to be dampened or interrupted by that physical barrier. How much? Obviously, that depends. Now, when it comes to running, yes, running is going to be a little bit louder, but even then, it's not going to be that loud because you got all the other doodads on you and your kit jangling around. Shout out to you guys, QD gang. And that's going to be louder, okay? Uh, your breathing is probably going to be louder when you're running, especially in full kit. So we've taken all these details and we've put them into a detailed article with the table, having all the test results and comparing it for context to a lot of common sounds that we all know and love for familiarity and for context to help understand it a little bit better. Uh, we hope you guys really enjoyed this and we look forward to catching you guys in the next video. Stay frosty.